Hey guys, it's Isabel and today I'm going to be doing the Would You Rather Booktube Edition 2.0 tag. I would like to thank my wonderful friend Kaden over at A Thousand Books to Read for tagging me to do this challenge. I am super excited, so thank you so much Kaden. This challenge is consisted of 11 questions, 10 of which are normal and one is a bonus, so let's get started. Number one, would you rather do only review videos or only tag videos? As much as I love reviewing books, I really enjoy tags and tags allow me to talk about more than one book, like I can choose multiple and discuss them with people, whereas I feel with a review, just because it's that one book, I don't get to sort of share my love of books more. Two, would you rather always see the film first or never see the film version of books? I would rather never see the film just because I like being able to picture people the way I want them to in my head. I think a lot of people can agree on that. But there are some books like Pride and Prejudice where I'm very glad, I'm very glad, I'm very happy I saw the movie before I read the book just because the language of the book is so different that seeing the movie really helped me to understand and picture everything that was going on. and just sort of understand the story. I think without having seen the movie, just because the language is so different, it would have been very confusing. Three, would you rather have a list of every book you've ever read, like Goodreads from birth, or still have the physical copy of your first favorite book? Um, I love having lists, like I love Goodreads because I can see all the books I've read and I kind of like to show that off in a way, like I'm proud of how many I've read. But there's something about having that physical copy that you owned and that you went and bought, especially because I'm one of those people that wants to like, like the City of Bones books, all these that I bought that are like my originals and like my signed copy, like I, that's my favorite series and I hope I can hold on to those and like pass them on to my kids. Like I know that's cheesy, but I want to do that. I want to hand them my battered copy, my signed copy that, you know, was mine and I want them to use it. Four, would you rather have an active in-person book club of non-booktubers or have lunch with your best booktube buddy once a year? Here's my dilemma. All of my really good book friends are booktubers or are sort of becoming booktubers, like we all pretty much booktube and blog. No, okay, sorry, this is easy, okay. I couldn't do the book club because none of them would have to be, they'd all have to, they all couldn't be booktubers and all of mine are like booktuber friends. So I would rather have the best booktube buddy, like I, I hate to only have to pick one of my friends, but I feel like that that's the one that works. Oh, uh, I got, I, I couldn't pick who I would want to though, I want to meet all my I want to meet all my friends. Five, would you rather have the time to read everything you want to read or the money to buy everything you want to read? Oh my, this is so tough. Um, I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather have the time to read everything I want to read because that's my biggest thing. Like, I think, because you can, you can buy all the books you want, but if you, if you're not reading them and if you're not having the time to, like, that stresses me out more than it, like it makes me happy like I love having all the books I love having all the books I want to read but having them there and not having the time to read them like really stresses me out and upsets me so I would rather just read like all the books I want and not have to have that constant reminder like you haven't read me yet like you're all doing that to me the ones I haven't read I don't need that anymore time is my biggest thing time I just I need time Six, would you rather dreamcast the film or have editing power over the script for the film version of or your fave, of your fave? I would rather dreamcast simply because I find that I can, I can talk, I'm not a big like movie, um, like film person, like I love movies, I'm a huge movie buff, but I'm not someone that goes and sees a movie and just rips the part like script and everything like that. The script, while it needs to be good, that wouldn't bother me if it wasn't perfect with the book. I would rather have good actors who can betray the character right and deliver that line and that script rather than people who 
don't act well in a good script because the script the script can be good but what's going to stand out more is the performance than the actual words. 7. Would you rather have your favorite fictional superpower or your favorite fictional technology? I feel like the superpower would... Here's the thing. I'm not a scientific person, so as much as I would love to have the technology, I wouldn't like know what to do with it. And if something went wrong, I would, I would not know how to fix it. Like I wouldn't be able to do anything. But if... I had like a superpower. I think that's something I would sort of understand. Like I might not be the best at controlling it. Like in The Darkest Mind, some people had their stuff together. But I feel like I'd, I'd learn. Like it's a part of me. I'd understand it better. If you gave me the Firebird from A Thousand Beasts of You, like good thing they had people who knew how to fix that because I was, I, I would not understand. I would be stuck in a dimension like I could not get out. Eight, would you rather read an amazing story with a meh ending or a mess story with a spectacular ending. I'd rather have a really good story because the story sticks with you. Like, endings are good, but I probably won't look back in life and be like, oh my gosh, the ending of that book was just phenomenal. I, I, this, a story sticks more. Nine, would you rather not be able to read in a moving vehicle or not be able to read lying down? I'm lazy, I like laying down too much. So I would rather not be able to read in the car because I, I struggle with that so I just listen to music. So I, I'd much rather not be able to read in the car than have to give up lying down. Like I sit in bed and all that all day and just read. If I, if I had to give that up, I'd be so upset. 10. Would you rather reread your favorite book or series with fresh eyes like the first time or be able to unread your biggest disappointment? I would rather be able to reread my favorite series with fresh eyes. Sometimes it brings me to tears and really upsets me that my favorite series are over. If I could reread The Mortal Instruments without knowing what was going to happen, like that would that's my dream. Not okay, it's not my dream. That would be one of my wishes. Like as much as I love knowing what's happened, there was something so unique about that experience. I would love to be able to re-experience that and go through all those emotions again. I can still remember them um, very well and with a lot of clarity, but I, I'd love to be able to have just that feeling of such like happiness and all that again while reading it. Bonus, would you rather go to Hogwarts or live in Middle Earth? Obviously Hogwarts. Like, is that even a question? I'd love to flip and go to Hogwarts. I have the, I paid for the, look, I have the robe. I have a hat for when it's cold at like the Quidditch games. I have a broom. Like I, all this stuff I paid for, that needs to go to use. I'm I'm prepared to go to school. I have everything I need. You just have to send me. I'd rather go. And Middle Earth is so dangerous. Like Middle Earth is fun, but I wouldn't want to, the evil keeps coming back. Like we've defeated it, but it sort of keeps coming back. And Hogwarts. Hogwarts is so much, like, that's everybody's dream. Hogwarts. I'm just, I'm gonna leave that. Hogwarts, okay? And that is it for the BookTube Would You Rather 2.0 edition challenge. It's a very long and confusing name. Thank you guys so much for watching. No, I have to tag people. Okay, I'm going to tag Christina Marie over at Lulu Fangirl, Jessica over at Jessie Elise, Maddie and Gabby of Two Book Teens, and A Reader's Legacy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe or comment below if you have anything you want to say or things you're related to, just all that fun stuff. I will try and respond to whoever comments. I need to get on that, by the way. But thank you guys again for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.